All right, David, thank you. Some changes are here for federal student loan borrowers. Now, the Biden administration has launched a beta application for its new repayment plan. It's called the Saving on an a Valuable Education or Save Plan. It could cut people's monthly payments in half, and we want to take a critical look at this to get some insight. Tia Wyndham, Austin Community College's Central Regional Director of Financial Aid, Campus Operations and Outreach. Thank you so much for joining us and a lot to unpack with this new repayment plan. Absolutely. So the save repayment plan replaces the existing repay plan and it's income driven. It includes a lot of new benefits. How does this exactly work though and who qualifies for it? That is a great question. So first and foremost, if you are a federal student loan borrower and you had a subsidized, unsubsidized, or maybe you even took advantage of consolidating your loans, or you have a grad plus loan, this plan is for you. So if you are um, thinking about, you know, getting into repayment, this is where you want to take that chance and that opportunity to do the beta application because it's going to benefit you tremendously. And Tia, this is touted as really the most affordable repayment plan yet. When and how, though, can people apply to the SAVE plan? Great question. So the plan is currently open now, so they're taking applications. So the great news is that if you go ahead and apply today, by the time October comes when the plans, um, when the payments go into repayment, your um, application will be on file. So in order to do that, you're going to go to studentaid.gov. And you're going to use what's called your FSA ID to be able to log into your account. And no worries if it's been a while and you need some help, you can reach out to your institution where you got your student loans from, or you can also reach out to your student loan servicer to assist you. And something that was interesting to me when I looked at the government's website, under this plan, some people, their monthly payments can be zero dollars. How exactly is that? How does that work? Yes, it's pretty exciting for a lot of our borrowers that are definitely concerned about the affordability. So through this plan, what it does is it increases the poverty line from 150% to 225%. So a great example would be if you have a single person who's making about $32,800 a year, they can possibly qualify for a $0 per month payment. So it's definitely increasing those opportunities to have a lower monthly payment and getting you quicker to where you're getting your loans paid off or even to forgiveness. Okay, and then lastly, Tia, what's the most important thing that you would tell people now ahead of student loan payments resuming this fall? Definitely do not delay. Go ahead and start strategizing now and having your conversations. Go to studentaid.gov and make sure that you look at what your student loan portfolio looks like. Ask those questions. And if you're not certain, reach out. Schools like Austin Community College, we have great programs such as our Money Management Center, where we're able to work with students and help them understand how to build that bridge. So log in, look at your student loan portfolio, and get ready to be able to select the payment plan that's right for you. They also have a simulator. So what's really great about that, if you're still concerned go through the simulator. You're going to be able to practice and put in all of your income information and your household information and make a determination on what your monthly payment will be. Okay, Tia Wyndham, some very helpful information for a lot of people out there. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Have a great day. Okay, you too. Last Sunday, a